having begun this lecture in 1938, boomeranged up to 1948, and then back to 1618, it's now time, finally, to talk about the piece of music that ties everything together. Leos Janáček's Piano Sonata from the Street, 1-10-1905, meaning the 1st of October, 1905. The title refers to a protest that began in Brno on October 1st, 1905, and that climaxed with the killing of a protester on the following day. The two movements of the sonata correspond with the events of those two days. The first movement is entitled The Presentiment, and the second movement is entitled The Death. Here's what happened in Brno on the street on October 1st and 2nd, 1905. Brno, as the capital city of Moravia, had a significant population of German-speaking bureaucrats, government officials, and upper-crusters. In fact, the last census conducted by the Austrian government in 1910 revealed that Brno proper had twice as many native German-speaking inhabitants as Czech speakers. Tension between the Germans and Czechs in Brno slowly increased during the second half of the 19th century as Czechs demanded and were grudgingly allowed to build a Czech language grammar school in 1867, a Czech community concert hall and cultural center in 1872, and a Czech theater in 1884, today known as the National Theater. The bad blood between the Czechs and the Germans went from simmer to full boil during the first years of the 20th century. The decisive issue was higher education. In 1901, Czech parliamentarians in Bohemia and Moravia demanded that a Czech language university be established in Brno to complement one already established in Prague. According to the Czech musicologist, Yuri Zaradka, quote, the German town council of Brno, however, refused this, fearing that the process of emancipation among the Czechs of Brno, further stimulated by a Czech university, might pose a serious threat to the city's German character." Unquote. The German community in Brno called for a demonstration in support of the town council's decision. On October 1st, 1905, German speakers from all over Moravia, Bohemia, and Austria gathered in the square in front of Brno's German House, a municipal building in the center of town. At the same time, Czech counter-demonstrators gathered outside the Czech Community Concert Hall and Cultural Center, a still extant building called the Besedny Dom. Inevitably, the groups clashed, at which point German-led police and German regimental troops stepped in and attacked the Czechs. The 51-year-old Leos Janáček was right in the middle of it, along with the Czech journalist Arnošt Heinrich, who later recalled, quote, Near the Three Cocks Inn, crowds of Czechs were blockading a procession of Germans. They held them there for two hours, the Germans raging with fury, until the military attacked from a side street and broke through the Czech blockade. I was there calming down Leos Janáček because this was a matter of life and death and, with a temperament like his, of his life and death especially." Unquote. Things came to a head the next day, on October 2nd, when the military again attacked a Czech demonstration right outside the entrance of the Czech Community Concert Hall and Cultural Center. A 20-year-old Moravian carpenter named František Pavlík was bayoneted and died soon after. Janáček's reaction was the composition of From the Street, October 1st, 1905. In the preface to the score, he wrote, quote, The white marble of the steps of the Besedny Dom, the Czech community hall, in Brno. The ordinary laborer, František Pavlík, falls, stained with blood. He came only to champion higher learning and has been slain by cruel murderers, unquote. Janáček 
from the street, October 1st, 1905. Janáček's sonata is as stark and chilling as the events that inspired it. The first movement, entitled Presentiment, is cast in sonata form. The first theme, the opening of the movement, begins quietly and plaintively, though it quickly builds up to a thunderous, impassioned climax. The second theme, sweet and melancholy, ends suddenly, abruptly, and almost violently. The movement ends with the same almost violent abruptness. Very powerful. The second movement, entitled The Death, is simply extraordinary. It begins hesitantly and mysteriously. The movement builds up to a gut-busting climax before receding back to the hesitant, mysterious place from which it began. This movement is not about the death of young František Pavlík per se. No, the movement is much more private, much more intimate than that. It is about Janáček's own reactions to František Pavlík's death, his wonder and rage over how such a senseless thing could take place, and his grief that such a thing did indeed take place.